Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of Crash Bandicoot. And now, heavy machinery. The third island. This is where the stages start getting difficult. Or a lot more difficult. <laughs> because from here on out, it's actually quite hard. Okay, these red pipes, they will hurt you. Don't touch them. Uh, the blue pipes, you can touch them, they're fine. As always, watch out for easy boxes, break any box you see that's, like, okay. You know, the taunt emblems are always helpful to have to get to the bonus rooms. You know, it's all the usual stuff. But you might want to be careful with your platforming and all that. You know, I don't really care about these, uh, platform boxes. Those guys you can spin into. Uh, just jump over all this stuff. And... Just be careful. And this is annoying. I die here. I get the extra life to die. Pretty much a waste. Yeah. Oh well. Luckily it wasn't that long of a stretch, so I'll try again. So with that, uh, yeah, just to say, this is part 4 of 6 of this Let's Play, it's a short game. So, you know, it, it won't take that long. Yeah. Next part is actually pretty long, so um, I'm not going to record that today. Today I just recorded the commentary for parts 2, 3, and 4. Uh, if you're wondering why this is post commentary, and I, I already explained this game is difficult, the thing is, I also found it find it a bit easier to like record like this in a way. Well, not in terms of like making this video, but you know, so I don't have to worry about playing it because you know I, I just started Pikmin 2. And for those of you who don't know, it's a long game. Uh, it, yeah, I have quite a few parts of that, and you know. Uh, Spongebob movie was, out, was without commentary, and Mega Man 7, I'm holding off on that for a while. So, you know, I wanted to give you guys my voice, since Pikmin 2 doesn't have my voice, Spongebob didn't have my voice. You yeah. know, I just want you guys to hear me. It'll be interesting. And I've got some other stuff, to, some, like, other really short games to do in this period. Uh, I have them recorded today. And maybe later, I'll uh, do some other ones. It could be nice. And, well, how is it close? Did you see my skills there? Yeah, I'm living on the edge. I'm sure I'm a risk taker, am I not? And here, I'm just waiting. Not a huge fan of that sounds like... <laughs> Times I'm actually glad my emulators sound like sometimes just won't work. And I'm. <laughs> it's embarrassing. At least there are no extra lives on the platform. That would have been really annoying. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that was that. And once more, we are continuing. You know, as always, just watch out for these uh, platforms. These things, uh. Always kind of annoying. Jump on these guys, or spin at them, whatever you can take them out. Oh my God. Uh, you know, if you couldn't already tell, the main theme of like the first island was just like. The second one was more like winds, and this last one was like machinery. Which I guess makes sense. Though I do have to ask something. In the intro, how did Crash get from the first island to from the third island to the first island? It's like, all I did was fall out a window. What did like the 
wind blow and you're like, you fall in the water and you see washed up on shore. And actually, that last one is very like, the beginning of the first level is crash getting up from the beach. Yeah, it makes sense, I guess. You know. I don't know. It's always the things you gotta wonder about a game. It's always the loose ends and the plot holes you gotta wonder about. It's always fun stuff to think about. And, you know, just for kicks and stuff, I like getting all the bumper fruit. This feels really nice. I really like these platforms too. You bounce so high on them. It's like really cool and whoa. Wow. I really fail at bouncing. Anyway, got that out of the way. And end of the level. Great. But I still missed some boxes. Oh well. Anyway, next level is Cortex Power. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's not really that hard of a level. It has an intro, like just a basic intro to show that. Kind of odd, but you know. Uh, we're back to three in this one. It's sort of a factory. So it can be a bit of a pain to 100%, just because it's like if you die and you backtracking, you're gonna need to do it. It can be annoying. What have we got? Hey, invincibility. I haven't seen that since a while. So I think since Island 1. I don't remember if I got an Island 2 or not. Maybe. And, oh, look at this. Awesome. Get over there and... Destroy the box. What have we got? Another invincibility. Isn't that great? Aren't I smart? It's always nice to just have it. And I can't jump over that for some reason. I don't know why. Really weird. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna keep on going. Just gotta time your jumps right so you don't fall. Like I almost did there, actually. This part, just make it through after the shocks, like, go across. And here you might want to be careful, because the red pipes will still hurt you. Don't forget that. And, uh, yeah. I'm not even going to bother breaking those, since I'm not going for 100%, so just break all this, just because... Let's see how many boxes I missed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 17. Yeah. Great. Well, it's not like I'm going for 100%. As I said, it's just a playthrough of the game. It's not 100%. Generator room. This is actually the only time you'll see a level that looks like this. Like a lot of the level tropes are used, like you know, the Lost City and Sunset Vista had the same trope. Uh, oh, watch this. Not and uh, a lot of the jungle levels had some had the same trope and all that. This level, there's never another trope of this level. It's just this level, and those pictures of Neocortex's face are a bit creepy. Just say it's like a face and weird. And don't worry, these platforms come back. See? And uh, right here, this platform—if you jump on it, it will collapse. If you bounce the box, it'll be fine. So if you want to get all this stuff, you're just gonna want to break the boxes after hopping on them. 
can see it will collapse. It will fall. It takes a while, but it will eventually fall. Uh, there's not really too much else to say about this level. It's kind of interesting, but, you know, there's not really too much about it. A lot of this is just coming out into bottomless pits, and why am I not moving? Like, there we go. Eh. Because a lot of these levels are just platforming over bottomless pits. And we'll see a lot of that later. And this one's just bouncing on boxes, getting some lives and all that. It's all good and stuff. Yeah. What have another Aquaku there. If you ever need health, which you're probably always gonna need health. Great. <laughs> Wasn't that great? <laughs> that stinks. And why did I not get off that? What's with me and not getting off platforms when I need to? Anyway. Uh, just keep moving through this again. Be careful. And, uh, this is getting very repetitive. I need to find something to talk about. Uh, I don't know. And I don't know what to talk about. I just don't. We're just going through this. There's not too much else I can say. And that was a dumb death. <laughs> and he didn't really hear the music there, because again, the emulator, for some reason, some sounds don't play. I don't know why it just does that. I still have no idea why it does that, and that face is still kind of creepy. Whoa. That could have been bad. And once again, on a platform, only this time you're gonna need to do a bit of other stuff, like dodging hot pipes. It'll hurt you. You know, not that great. You might want to keep away from them. Safe danger. Safety first. CEO Pinstripelli Potterotti. Odd name, but okay. <laughs> Toxic Waste. This is our next level, and Toxic Waste is very bad for the environment. Do not throw it out. It's, it's not good. Okay, out. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I died one second in. Isn't it just a great when you die one second in the level? Probably not one second, but anyway, the gimmick about this level is that these guys are throwing barrels and you gotta make it to the top. Uh, I guess it's like a 3D Donkey Kong game. Even though I don't think there was actually ever a 3D game that was pretty much like the arcade game Donkey Kong. There have been 3D Donkey Kong games, you know, there's Donkey Kong 64, and uh... Actually, I think that's the only 3D Donkey Kong game off the top of my head. It's all the, <laughs> so all the other ones are uh, 2D. You know, the Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3. I find that game underrated, by the way. I like Donkey Kong 3. Uh, the Game Boy version of Donkey Kong. Um, the Donkey Kong Country games are all 2D. The recent Donkey Kong Country Returns, which I'm not too big of a fan of. And Tropical Freeze, which I have yet to play. Those are side scrolling. Jungle Beat is also side scrolling. <laughs> uh, you can still get that one up even if you uh, broke the box. Yeah. Maybe Donkey Kong 64 is. I played a little bit of it at one point, but I'm not. But I wasn't a huge fan of it there. That's because I'm not a huge fan of the Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Even then, yeah, the thing I'll actually admit is the Nintendo 64 is actually my least favorite Nintendo home console. As crazy as it sounds. It's not a huge fan of the controller. 
And you know, and it's got good games, but just not that interesting. In my opinion. It's a good console, but eh, just not a huge fan of it. Anyway, just gotta keep spinning into these guys, getting through that. And uh, you know, they keep on going. 91 lives. I actually think I hit 99 in this place. I mean, by the end of the game, I do have 99 lives because I've died a lot in the last two stages. But, uh, these barrels will bounce, and uh, they're a bit frustrating to avoid. And that was a voice crack. I was like, they're a bit frustrating to avoid. Okay, well, it's probably only the word frustrating, but eh, anyway. You know, it's not that long a level, and it's not that annoying. And this is the last part, I think, where it's going to be balancing crates. And they're a bit hard to dodge because of depth of perception. And, and okay, I think I made it. Actually, yeah, I did. I don't think I did. I know I did. I saw it with my own eyes, and I played it, like, yesterday, I think. And, uh, this causes a chain. This all these teensy boxes cause a chain reaction. <laughs> that was something. Like, jumping right away from all the teensy boxes, like, at that very second. That was really cool. Yeah, that was, that was really cool. Uh, there's not much else to talk about. I think we're done with this level pretty soon, actually. What does that mean getting hit by that? And that's gonna hurt for crash this part. Yeah. Like, really embarrassing. But like, how does like just touching it like make crash like like that happen? Like, how does it flatten it? Like, getting hit in the face by it? And I, I just don't really get that. It's a video game, yeah, but you know, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Again, I did that. I'm so stupid. And, uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these barrels, being honest. You just gotta find a safe spot and all that. Let's spin to the guys, and there you go. Level done. Good. <laughs> yep, good. Very good. The goodest thing in the world. Pinstripe. Boss time. I'm not a huge fan of this boss. Kind of interesting, but it's a bit annoying too. This is Pinstripe, and he's got a gun. Yeah, some kid-friendly game has a gun. Anyway, it's pretty annoying, because the gunshots always seem to hit you, and they're very annoying. But what I like is that, like, Crash is, like, assuming the duck and cover pose, like, when he's behind some. I do die a lot in this boss. I believe it's this boss to the end of the next level. So, yeah. The thing is, you have to just look for an opening to attack him. Like, I guess when he's moving around the room. That's when you'll be able to attack him. I just want to note, this guy's name is Pinstripe Potteru. Like, back in the level where we saw, like, that, uh, death, you remember, like, in the generator room level at the end of it, we saw, like, a picture of him, was, like, foreshadowing. Uh, I actually think that, like, there is, like, his name's, like, Pinstripe. Pinstripelli Potterulier, or something like that. It was like an extension of this name. I, I don't know. You can go back and check it, I guess, but I don't know. Pinstripe's an annoying boss, but he's not possible. I'm gonna bop the dope again. You know, you just gotta hide behind all this furniture and wait. Let's try that again, shall we? I'm not very good at this boss, so I It's annoying. You can actually get him into this cycle, or you can just, like, combo him. But, once he gets out, you might want to hide behind something, just say. Because it can be an annoying boss. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't successfully combo him there, and I died. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Gotta keep waiting, and... 
And there we go. Got hit. Hit again. That was pretty bad. I hit him like once. Like once. I only hit one. <laughs> Waiting, here we go, and waiting, all that jazz. It's a long, tedious battle. Again, not bad, but yeah, it's repetitive and all that stuff. Not the best of its kind. And, uh, yeah, there's really not much else I can say about this boss. Come on, beat him past me. I actually think I beat him this attempt, so I'm not sure though. Actually, no. Oh wait, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I remember. Yep. It's gonna... And... And... Hit him. Glass shatters. Yay! We took him down. Even though he doesn't look beaten. Eh, yeah. Anyway. That's it for this part. See you guys next time.